Hey, hi, happy Training Tuesday. I am Kim Irwin. I'm an independent consultant with Arbon International, and I am happy that you're with me today. Today, we're gonna talk about a, um, an additive that is very, very dangerous. I've mentioned it many, many times before in the past, but honestly, if I did it, if I did a specific topic on this, it's been a really long time. And I know, <coughs> excuse me, we're getting ready, like fall is right around the corner. People are getting ready to go and buy Christmas gifts and stocking stuffers and new makeup, you know, and all this kind of stuff for fall and the holiday season. Well, there's something I want you to really be aware of and keep in mind whenever you're going to make those purchases. This is what's called petrolatum. And I know you guys have heard me talk about it before, but it bears repeating. Petrolatum, also called mineral oil, um, is a byproduct of um, the petroleum industry. It comes from crude oil, okay? And it is a petrochemical. And now, if you take, if you refine crude oil to the highest level possible, then the research that I did says that petrolatum is not dangerous. It's not harmful. However, when have we ever known the United States <laughs> to not take shortcuts on the things that they put in our products? The, the European Union, sorry if I offended anybody, but you'll understand this. The European Union has classified petrolatum as a carcinogen, cancer causing for long-term extended exposure. That means if you look at that, I'm just going to say it, B&B, body cream that you put slather all over you because it smells so darn good. You look at the back of that product. Look at it. It says petrolatum or mineral oil. One of those two. It is a very cheap filler that the U.S., the FDA, says is safe. I'm sorry. If you are in Europe, they value the safety and the health and well-being of their population. Apparently it hasn't made it across the pond yet here, but in Canada, in Europe, they ban it. It is not allowed. It is banned as use in makeup or beauty products, personal care products, any of those products, unless you can verify the whole history of the refining process and prove to them that it is not carcinogenic. Now, what makes it carcinogenic? What it has is it can be contaminated by things called PAH, PAHs. <laughs> Those are polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Um, and they are found in crude oil and byproducts. So if your petrolatum that is in that product that you're slathering all over your body contains these PAH chemicals, then it, it has the potential of causing cancer. Like why would you take that risk when you don't have to? So it's based on the level of refining. I don't want to give it a blanket bad rap because there are cases that I guess it's not harmful, but boy, you know, they don't find that to be the case here. They use it as an inexpensive byproduct of the crude oil refining and they add it to our, our um, personal care products, our makeups, all of that. And we just blindly put it all over our body and allow those toxins and those chemicals and those carcinogens to get into our body and cause damage. Our health is extremely important. Whether the FDA wants to say that petrolatum is safe or not, do your own thinking, okay? Do your own thinking and be smart. When you're purchasing products, think about those of you who out there, I've got a lot of friends who are pregnant who are gonna be having these little babies. And when these babies are here, what are you gonna put on those little babies? What are you putting into your system and on your skin right now? And that goes for not just pregnant people and, and, and new mamas, it goes for everybody. We want those daddies, uncles, brothers to still be around. We don't want them getting cancer from putting on 
poor choices. <laughs> okay. So petrolatum, mineral oil, check the contents, the ingredients on the packaging of those products that you are intending to purchase. And if they have that in there, please don't buy it. Okay. Please don't buy it and find an alternative, find something, find makeup, clean makeup. Hello. I know where you can find that clean personal care products. Again, hello. I know where you can find that. <laughs> <laughs> but this isn't just, this isn't like just a sales thing. This is your health that we're talking about. So I hope that you understand that completely comes from the heart. You want to make sure that you're putting clean, safe products on and in your body. And if they contain petrolatum or mineral oil, that's a very, very high chance that that is not safe for you. So there you go. Petrolatum, train in Tuesday. I hope this is of value. Go home, look under all of your cabinets and start tossing because it's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Have a great day. I'll talk to you next week.